Hi beauties, welcome back. Today, I have the Summer Fab Fit Fun. Uh, Fab Fit Fun we've been doing now, I, th I think we're coming up on like two full years. Um, so I joined in fall of, yeah, I guess it would be two full years because it was fall of the, the first uh, year we did the channel and we are coming up on our second year anniversary having the channel. So this is probably like my seventh box and it's weird, you know, normally I really, really like them and then I get one or two where I'm like not so sure about. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this month. I don't remember what I customized, but I remember my customization options. I was like, uh, I don't know about that. I feel like maybe it's gonna be really skincare heavy. Like I feel like maybe everything I picked was somehow skincare related and there wasn't like a lot of home good options. I don't fully remember though. That would kind of make sense during the summer when you're out in the sun more and you're trying to protect your skin more. So it's possible or I'm, it was a fever dream or I'm remembering a different box. I don't really know, I don't know. But I have it here. Of course I love their packaging. Their packaging is always adorable. And if you don't know what FabFitFun is, um, with shipping and everything, tax and everything, it winds up coming out to like $53 a, uh, a season. So you get four a year and um, you can do a year long subscription, I think. They keep trying to get me to do it. You get to customize more options and stuff, but I just can't commit to it. I, I, I don't dislike the box. I just can't commit to that much of it. Like I can't, like with Boxy, we commit to the year because I, I don't know, I'm rambling. Let's jump in. All right, in the box. <gasps> they gave us stickers again. Stickers! I wonder if that means I'm getting another cactus cup. I do like the cactus cup, by the way. That came in our spring box. It's very hard to clean, but I like it. All right. Uh, oh yeah, they keep sending us like this $15 off your first box. I keep giving them to my mom. She hasn't signed up yet. I figured like, she's really the only person I would think might like this box. So I keep just like, I'm like, if you want it, there it's yours. But yeah, so we got stickers. We have the FabFitFun magazine that comes with a list of all the products and their prices, which we will go through after we see what's in our box. And uh, yeah, let's jump in. There's like a lot of packaging in this. Like it's a lot of like this. I feel like more than normal. Oh, they also sent us a uh, 14 free all meat free. 14 free meals from HelloFresh. Um, I keep seeing stuff about HelloFresh, but I, I, I can't justify it. So. Ha! All right, first thing we got, pineapple ice mold. So I, we have a funny relationship with pineapples because my mom and dad took a cruise and they found out that pineapples is like the, the sign for swingers. So now every time I see a pineapple, all I can think about is my parents being like, did you know that? And I was like, I mean, I do now. But also I just gave Nikki ice molds for like whiskey for his birthday. So now we just have a small collection of ice mold things and no room in our freezer, but I love it. I mean, I think they're precious. I just, I feel like we're gonna have to get a freezer just for ice molds. I mean, we can get one of those little, free, like when you have those skincare freezers, just for ice molds and put it at the bar. Rocky. <laughs> Now she's tearing down the, the curtain. She's just like, Attica, uh, the anarchy, dismantle the establishment. <laughs> All right, yes, so honestly, that was the only home good thing that I'm seeing. Everything else looked like it is either skincare or hair care or beauty related, which honestly, I, it's gonna sound weird for me because normally I'm like, that's what I wanna see in a box. And I do wanna see that in a box, but at the same time, um, I kinda like with FabFitFun that they send like, like houseware as well. So I don't know. It's definitely a unique box, but we'll see what we have. I feel like, aren't we, we're supposed to get eight products, right? I have nine. Don't tell them. FabFitFun's gonna like knock on my door, like give us one of the products back. Anyway, so ice mold one. Next thing we have is from Seraphine Botanicals. This is a fruit butter lip mask. Um, we've gotten some stuff from Seraphine Botanicals from Ipsy in the past. Gonna be honest, their eyeshadows and stuff like that are not my favorite, but I seem to recall like getting a skincare serum or something for them that was pretty decent. So uh, I feel like a lip mask is not a bad product. And once again, when you're in the middle of summer and you're kind of abusing your skin more, being out in the sun and everything like that, probably not a bad thing to have. Um, not necessarily something that I would go purchase myself, but I mean, we did get an extra product this month, so I'm not gonna complain too much. All right, next thing I have is Summer Fridays CC Me Serum. And it looks like this is just like a brightening serum, kind of like a maybe um, like a vitamin C serum makes sense for the CC me. Yeah, featuring two forms of vitamin C. See if I just read, then it would have yep, it would have answered my own question. Yeah, so uh, they just recommend adding this to your uh, to your morning routine for a little bit of extra glow. Love that. I love my serums. I really I you know 
2020 really taught me that I uh, can show my deep appreciation for skincare much more. And I think because I've developed more of an appreciation for skincare, I've also developed much more of an appreciation for like subscription boxes because you see how expensive skincare is and then you get skincare products. So yeah. All right. Next thing I have is from, I, I don't, this word messes me up. I know, I know it's, Away? I don't know. O U A I. I know the brand. I, I can't pronounce it. I'm not even gonna try to again. This is actually a scalp massager, and I believe this is one of the things that I had to choose. My choices I remember not being like super thrilled about, but I have been having a lot of like dandruff issues and things like that, like really bad. I've started using like like purifying like hair masks and conditioners. Uh, we bought a shower head that filters our water, trying to like do anything to combat any issues. So I think maybe one of these to like work in some of the massaging things uh, or some of the um, detoxing scalp massage serums I have might be a good idea. Um, it's a nice quality, it looks nice. It comes with like a little hangy thing. And uh, yeah, and you just like would whoo, work it in. It also looks like it could be like some sort of a torture device, but they're rubber, so like it's not gonna impale you, but it could. All right, next thing. I know I chose this because I remember seeing the uh, the bottle on the thing. This is a vitamin E face moisturizer from Malin and Goats. I don't know. I'm assuming it's German. It looks German. Maybe like Dutch, I don't know. But it's a vitamin E face moisturizer. I always need voice. I always need moisturizers. And uh, yeah, I figured you can't go wrong. And it's a good size, so. Oh, no, I bet we didn't, okay, no, I'm lying. I bet we didn't get nine products this month. I bet these are a set. So this is also from Way. I'm going with that. I don't know if I'm right. It's a detox shampoo. It would make sense that I did choose, I did choose this and I, yes, that's, I remembered seeing this but not being what I chose. I chose this because of what I, we just went through. Yeah, 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 it's nice. They gave you like, it's like a two piece set. That's actually really cool. I love that. Um, and I'm excited to try it because actually the shampoos have been helping um, but I'm still looking for like the best. And honestly, at this point, like I'm willing to like, once I find one that really works, spend whatever $50 I need to on shampoo just to make my hair a little bit more manageable. All right, next thing we have here is actually a really nice little foot scraper from Barefoot Scientist. It's funny, I you, we've talked about it in the past because I've gotten like foot creams and stuff and I'm not really like a big feet person. I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know why. But I think these are important, at least to have in the house. We don't have one. I've actually been thinking about picking one up. So it's kind of a nice little product to have. And it's got like this like little bumpy side with kind of like raised edges and then it's got like a smoothing side as well. Um, I definitely think it's something that can get like nice use out of and it's kind of sleek. Looks like it'll be easy to like get in there. Some of them are like really bulky and, and weird. This is honestly like, and it's like metal. It like seems like a cheese grater, but like, I don't know. I'm interested, I'm interested to see how it works. All right, now we have from, uh, Flight Mode Skincare, which I've never heard of before. This is a high altitude hydration mask. I'm wondering. Oh yeah, okay, cool. So it's kind of, it's technically like a sleeping mask uh, meant to be worn basically without putting product on directly over it immediately. And a lot of times, especially if I don't have on makeup when I go, cause I work in the middle of the night, or if I don't have makeup on when I go out into work, I'll put it on so that way when I'm there for like my eight hours at night, uh, my skin can like get some sort of rehydration. Uh, but this says after cleansing and when you're ready to rest, apply the face mask to your face, neck, and back of hands. It will absorb while you relax or sleep. No need to rinse it off, just massage into your skin. So yeah, definitely a great product. I'm a really big fan of those kind of masks where they're like, you know, you don't have to worry about rinsing it. You don't have to worry about anything. Just let it do its job while you're chilling, while you're sleeping, whatever. And I'm like, all right, I can get by with that. Not the biggest, but not the smallest, decent sized. I mean, I would assume, honestly, with all the skincare in this box, it's probably gonna be a high value. Um, just because like the way we've talked about, it's expensive to, it's expensive to buy skincare, so. All right, last thing we have is from Sensuals, a natural and an organic skincare. This is a vitamin C serum. So technically we got like two vitamin C serums. Um, so I think that was kind of how I felt when I customized it. I just didn't feel like there was a good variety that I was given or given the option for. That being said, I think the box is worth 50 bucks. I mean, the shampoo alone, if the shampoo works, then I'm gonna be happy. Um, yeah, we got cute little stuff. I do like the ice mold um, and I do like all the skincare. So let's take a look at the price breakdown, see what it's looking like uh, cost-wise and, uh, and yeah. 
So they kind of changed it. It looks like they actually like really gave you like a more cohesive breakdown of like what the products are. Oh yeah, they told you like if you customize and you chose this, this is what like, interesting. That's weird. That's crazy. I don't know that they have the price breakdown in this. I think that the way they changed it, now I'm not seeing any prices for the products. I'm seeing the list of products and I'm seeing where you can like go reorder products, but I'm not seeing where it's like, oh, this cost this, this cost this. What the hell? Yeah, so them changing that, I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay, well, no price breakdown, so I guess we'll just have to do our best to assume I would guess probably about $200, maybe a little bit more. Don't like that. I hate, I that's one of my favorite things that subscription boxes do where they give you the products and they give you the price breakdown of the products so you can see the value of what you're paying for. No, you're not exactly picking out products like you're not going to a store price checking products do it. You're, you know, they take out, you take out the, that aspect of it where you have that autonomy over, you know exactly what you're getting, but you get to see like, okay, I paid $50 for a box. I paid $25 for a box and I got $150 worth of products. I love that. Why take that away? So I feel like so many of the subscription companies are moving away from that. And I don't know if that's like a ploy to like, be able to send less valuable things or if it's just like they feel like it's not necessary anymore. I don't know. I miss it. I don't like that. So that sucks. All right. Well, let me know what you guys think about uh, the summer fab fit fun box. Like I said, decent box, a lot of skincare, a lot of stuff. And I mean, looking at looking at the, the product breakdowns that they have, there were other options for stuff. But honestly, I remember going through my customization and being like, don't really, like all the stuff they had for the house, it's like, I didn't really need that. Or like, I don't really think that we would use that. So that's, it was mainly me just choosing skincare, I think is really what it broke down to. It's not that they didn't have other options. I just ended up going with a lot of skincare. But at the same time, I do think that it says a lot if there's like, I don't know, it's pretty damn skincare heavy, even looking at everything. like. Let me know what you guys think. I would love to know your guys' opinion on this. I would love to see like, you know, what your boxes look like, if you felt the same way. I'm not gonna cancel FabFitFun. I've kind of decided on that. I'm not willing to pay the year subscription, but I am willing to keep just doing it. Stupid, because I know it saves me money in the long run, but whatever. Uh, yeah, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like us, subscribe. And other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy, you have a wonderful day, and you stay girly with a dark twist.